What's up, y'all? It's Nelson with Nelson Fitness, and today I'm going to show you how to link your MyFitnessPal and connect it to the TrueCoach app. Now, before we get started, you have to have a MyFitnessPal account, so if you don't have one already, download the MyFitnessPal on the app on your phone, and then create an account. So to get started, you can't connect MyFitnessPal to TrueCoach within the app. You must open TrueCoach on a web browser like Chrome, Safari, or Microsoft Edge. Quickest way to get there is just Google TrueCoach login and click that login link. Then you'll log in with the same email and password that you use to set up the TrueCoach app. Your screen should look something like this, and then you'll just click the little fork and knife button at the top of the screen. Then you'll click that blue button in the center, connect to MyFitnessPal, and it should bring you to a MyFitnessPal login page. Then you'll log in with the same info that you use to set up the MyFitnessPal app, not the TrueCoach app. Then it'll take you to this page, giving TrueCoach the authorization to pull that info from MyFitnessPal. You just click Authorize, and then it'll take you back to TrueCoach, and then you're going to be all set up. Now that it's connected, TrueCoach is going to pull the calories and the macros that are totaled in the MyFitnessPal. Your coach won't be able to see the individual things like the meals and also the food items that you're putting into MyFitnessPal, just the overall total calories and also the macros, so proteins, fats, and carbs. At the end of each day, the only thing your coach is going to be able to see is whether you're hitting the calorie goal and you're also your macro goal, so if you're hitting that protein mark. So you also need to make sure that you're inputting all of your meals on MyFitnessPal. That way it doesn't look like you went severely under your calorie or your protein goal. And now speaking of MyFitnessPal, what's likely going to happen is that your coach is going to give you a calorie and a protein goal that is different than the total that it gives you on MyFitnessPal. So you're going to need to make custom calorie and your macro goals. So what you're going to do is on MyFitnessPal, you're going to click in the bottom right hand corner on the icon that says more with the little three dots. It'll take you to this page. If you're on Android, it might look a little different, but if you're on iPhone, you're going to see this page. Then you're going to click on the Goals tab, and it should take you to something like this. Then under Nutrition Goals, you're going to click the very first one, where it says Customize Your Default Goals, and it'll take you to this page. First, you're going to change the calorie goals. You're going to click the little blue number right here. It said 2,900. I'll go ahead and delete that and add the new calorie goal. Let's say it's 2,600, and then I'll go ahead and click that check mark, saving that. Next, we'll adjust the macros. So let's say for the protein, go ahead and click at 35%. If you have the premium version, you could go ahead and adjust the grams specifically. But if you don't, no worries. You could just change the percentage. Adjust it up and down. But if you look at the very bottom, make sure that the total of the other macros adds up to 100. Adjust the other macros as needed, making sure that the total adds up to 100%. If it's not 100%, it's not going to let you save that. And then when you go back to your home page, you'll see that your daily total is adjusted to reflect the changes that you made. Now, when you're first getting started using my fitness pal, you're maybe going to forget to add a meal or a snack into your food log. So what I'd recommend you to do is add a reminder in my fitness pal to log in all your foods. Click on the plus sign in the top right hand corner of the screen, and then we're going to set a reminder for logging in your food. Click on weight at the top, and then you're going to change that to breakfast, lunch, or dinner, whichever one you want. I recommend all three meals and the snacks as well. Also, make sure you set the frequency to daily and not weekly. Then set it at the time you usually have that meal or the snack. Do this for all your meals, including also the snacks if you have more than one snack as well. Like including the midday snack or, for example, the protein shake that you might have before bed. Another tip to make your life a little bit easier is saving meals such as things that have multiple food items like maybe a protein shake, smoothie, or a sandwich. That way you don't have to put those individual food items every time you're logging in your food. To get there, you're going to go under the more tab where we added the new calorie goals from earlier. Then you're going to click the tab my meals, recipes, and foods. It'll take you to this page and make sure you're in the middle under the meals. As you can see that blue little underline under meals. Click create a meal at the very bottom of the page. Click on add items to this meal. It'll take you here and you can search in that search bar whatever food you're looking for or even scan the barcode of that food item. So let's say I'm adding a protein shake that I make with protein powder and almond milk. I'll add the protein powder by clicking the little plus sign on the right hand side. Then click on add food at the very bottom to add the almond milk. Same thing, just click the plus sign on the right hand side. Then at the top, you could name this meal so you could remember it and also recognize it whenever you're adding it as a quick meal. So here I'll just add protein shake and then I will save it by pressing save at the top right hand side. Then it'll show up as a saved meal right here under the meals, recipes, and foods. Then when you're adding food to one of your meals, it'll take you to this page and then you could select my meals with that blue line underlined. There you'll see all your saved meals and you'll click that blue little plus sign and then it'll add it to your daily totals. 
And there you have it. Comment any of your little tips and tricks for my fitness pal and you what to do, like and subscribe, please.